By the way, this review is going to have spoilers. So just big warning, big spoilers for this, the whole movie basically. So go watch the movie, then come back if you wish. Hey guys, welcome back to another week of Ticket Tuesday. I'm your host, Ronan Tame HD. So yeah, this is going to be a great time. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Ticket Tuesday. I'm your host, Ronan HD. And this week, we watched The Meg 2, The Trench, or Meg 2, The Trench, whatever they call it. This film is starring Jason Statham, and it is the sequel to The Meg, uh, if you couldn't guess already. But this film, uh, to keep it sweet and short, is basically a high-budget, shitty shark movie, and it's great. I enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it, and it was super duper fun the whole way through. And, but before I get in a whole rant about why I thought this movie was fun, I'll tell you more back at the house. I just hope it goes better than last time. What happened last time? You don't want to know. They say the end, I saw you again. Go, go, go! We've never seen this before. They hunted it back. back to an episode of Ticket Tuesday. I am your host from HD, and this week we watched Meg 2, The Trench, starring Jason Statham. This film is the sequel to the, whatever year it was released, The Meg, I don't quite remember, but yeah, this film is, uh, I'm just going to jump right to it. This film is very, very different from the first film, because in preparation uh, for this review, I went back and I watched the first one, and the movies are very different in that the Meg one is like a very serious, you know, like, I'd say almost like a thriller type, like trying to t kind of be a bit of a thriller maybe, and maybe a bit of a horror movie in, in parts. You know, it, it, it was just generally serious, you know, like with the, the whole Megalodon part and like all the people being eaten and all the stuff like that and the whole Megalodon segment of it. But this movie is as I said in the intro, just like a fucking high-budget shitty shark movie, and that's amazing, and that's the kind of shark movie I want to watch. Shitty shark movies are the best kind of shark movies, in my opinion, because they're so goddamn fun. And yeah, this film in the first half or so is a little slow, a little bit, but there still are ridiculous. There still is ridiculous shit in the first in the first one, in the first half, because. <laughs> There's like, I'll get to it in the synopsis. I'll get to all the ridiculous shit in the synopsis. But basically, the the shit that really kicks in high gear and gets absolute ridiculous bonkers bullshit is the second half. And it's great. The second half, I prefer over the first half. Uh, because the first half was a, not that much, but it was still a little bit serious. Second half wasn't at all, in my opinion. Like, it was super ridiculous, and there were giant... Uh, there was Krakens, and fucking five Megs, or four Megs, or whatever. There were so many of them. And it's like... It was ridiculous, and it was great. There were so many big monsters eating people, and murdering people. It was great. Uh, but, with that being said, let's get into the synopsis. Now, so basically, um, the whole plot of this movie is that after an expedition goes wrong, trying to go down to the deep sea after an expedition goes wrong, um, like, the first half is them, you know, getting back to the surface, you know, escaping, and eventually finding out that there's a, there's, like, a rat in their company that they work for, or, like, whatever, and it's set, and it's revealed to be one of their, like, friends that they knew for a while, and who's, um, like, in, who's, a, like, you know, the rat for the bad guy, who, like, the evil lady who's trying to, you know, capitalize on, you know, all the minerals and resources that are down in the deep sea, and you could make billions of dollars with all that, you know, uh, like, evil corporation, generic villain, uh, but they get to the top, and they get to this, like, water, not water, like, this base, basically, like, this base that's in the middle of the ocean. They, but actually, after losing a couple members, it doesn't really matter. All the members that died were idiots anyway. They didn't need them. <laughs> it's 
saying it how it is. But, um, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna rant about that. But, um, after they get to the surface and they get to the little, the base, this little, like, base, um, they, the villain has already sent, like, mercenaries who were wearing woodland camo in the middle of the ocean. Just thought that was important to mention. Uh, they get on the base, and, you know, they kind of take over, and, you know, they're taking everybody hostage. But then eventually, uh, Jason Statham and the gang get their friends, their friends that aren't traitors, you know, two other people who are there, and they escape on a boat. Um, and by that, then they eventually go to my favorite part of the movie, the second half, which is on, like, this resort island, and it's fucking great, because they leave the Megalodons there, right? And there's also, like, these weird, like, raptor dinosaur things that also live in the water, but they can also, like, walk on land. I don't know what they're called. They might be real. They might be not. I'm not sure. Uh, but they're, like, whenever they were on screen, it always reminded me, like, hey, that, that, that reminds me of Jurassic Park. You know, like, whenever they were on screen, it reminded me of Jurassic Park. Maybe that was intentional. Maybe it wasn't. I don't know. But uh, there's a scene where... Which is the scene, because there's a beach scene, of course, there's a shitty shark movie. It's got to be a, well, not even a shitty, like, the first movie was a shark movie, so obviously in a shark movie, you got to have a beach scene. It's just kind of law at this point to have a beach scene in a shark movie. Uh, and there's, like, a beach scene in the first movie, but it was kind of underwhelming for me, because, you know, I wanted the, sh the Megalodon to just, like, start chomping people up in, like, droves and big hordes, because that's hilarious. And that's exactly what they do in this one. This shark just... There's, like, three of them, too, and they, like, just start chomping people up in the big groups that they're in, and it just goes, hum. like, you're in the perspective of its mouth, and it's just chomping people up, and it's great. And then, like, there's so much chaos, and the dinosaur, there's also, like, some more mercenaries on there, and they're getting eaten by the weird raptor thingies, and the main characters are, like, all scurrying around trying to do things and do all this, and then eventually uh, a fucking kraken shows up and starts fucking murdering people and killing people and then um and then fucking Jason Statham fucking like rides the wave with his jet ski and takes a fucking spear and like fucking blows up a sh blows up a megalodon with it and it's like the whole second half of the resort just picks up and the cra even like there's a helicopter that two characters have they're like in a helicopter and the fucking Kraken just grabs the helicopter and drags it down into the ocean. It's great. Um, then, after all the chaos, there's a fucking battle between a Kraken and a Megalodon. A battle between two of the big... Well, one was probably not real, but one was real. But, uh, obviously, this being the Megalodon movie, of course, the Megalodon wins. Um... And then they kill. But then let me show you. Let me tell you how Jason Statham kills the second Megalodon. He kills it because the the, main, the other characters who crash the helicopter, one is still stuck in there. The other one jumped out. But one, the, the pilot, he is still stuck in the helicopter, right? And it's starting to, like, fall into the ocean. So Jason Statham picks up a heavy-ass fucking helicopter blade. And he's somehow able to lift it up and, like, bang it onto the water so that it'll, like, you know, paddle and it'll attract the Megalodon. Not only does that, but he manages to lift it that fucking high and the Megalodon jumps up and he impales it through the mouth, which is still which is ridiculous, but still, then he is able to hold the weight of a huge ass fucking however huge a Megalodon is there for, like, a couple, like, ten seconds, he's able to hold up the fucking helicopter blade, and this big-ass creature who's, like, probably the size of at least, a, like, a whale, right? He's basically holding up a fucking whale with his... He's, like, the strongest man on the planet, and he chucks it to the side, and the, the megalodon floats down. And then there's one detail I forgot to mention at the beginning of the movie. So, this movie all starts with, you know, uh, the brother to the mom in the last movie is, like, you know, carrying on the mantle of, you know, expeditioning the ocean. You know, that's what he wants to do. And he has one captive megalodon. He has one captive megalodon, and he says it can obey his command, right? He says he has a connection with it. And then, um, basically, 
they build that up in the first part of the movie and then the end of the movie, the last Megalodon in the movie is that captive shark, right? It's it's the Megalodon. And he has, like, this clicker thing that he can use to communicate with it, and he uses it, and it leaves it, o- it, leaves it open because he's clicking it, and eventually it ignores him and starts chasing dolphins, but Jason Statham's like, oh, it was just after the dolphins. But the other guy was like, no, followed me, obeyed me, right? So I guess it leaves it open-ended to did it obey him or was it just hungrier for dolphins? It's for you to decide, not me. But, yeah, uh, the film was just really, really fun, and I just enjoyed it. And I think I enjoyed it, enjoyed it, by the way. I enjoyed it more than the first one, but I wouldn't say it's, like, a better movie. I feel like the first movie was maybe a bit, like, better made on a technical sense, but I don't give a shit about that most of the time. Well, not most of the time. I don't really give a shit about that sometimes because, you know, I feel like this movie really makes up for it in, you know, it's not, like, a great movie objectively, but, like, an enjoyable, it's just fun. You know, you can just sit down and laugh at it and have fun. You know, it's like a movie you can just sit down and turn your brain off. But, like, yeah, I think this film is just a good, like, turn-off movie. You can just turn your brain off and watch it, you know? Just, it's just fun, you know? Get some friends together. Just just go at it. I think I would recommend this film if you're looking for a good time. But, I mean, if you're not a fan of shitty shark movies, if you're not a fan of that kind of style, you probably wouldn't get anything out of this, you know? I don't know what's wrong with you, man. Shitty shark movies are where it's at. But that's your opinion, not mine. And uh, now, I'd rate this film like a like a 7 out of 10. Now, now, you might say, oh, well, Ronan, you sung a lot of the praises. Well, yeah, but then again, it's like, it's not incredible. It's just, you know, it's a good time. You know, I would recommend It's good. You know, seven's still a good score. So, I recommend it, and it is a 7 out of 10. 10. It is a 7 out of 10. And, uh... I think, I think, I've, uh, think I've said what I need to say. I think I've said my piece. So, guys, hope you like this video. Be share with friends, subscribe, there's notifications on. Comment on how much you liked it. But you guys know how it goes. I didn't mean to say that. What I really meant to say was if you guys hated this video, unsubscribe, dislike, tell me, and chat me in the comments. I better on time HD. Chopping off. Have. Have.